Why have I been sleeping on Chanel Allure Homme Sport or Extreme for so long? You like that accent? I don't. It was actually cringe. Today I'm gonna go over everything that you may need to know about Chanel's Allure Homme Sport or Extreme to make your purchase decision that much easier. But first, before we go into the nitty gritty and slight downsides of this fragrance, let's go over the presentation. First, I wanna show you the box. So the box is relatively straightforward and simple, just looks like exactly like the bottle pretty much. This is in their Allure line, which they do have other fragrances in. Now on the back, it just says translations of vaporizer, the concentration, which is Eau de Parfum, the ingredients, and then Chanel and where it's made. On the bottom, a barcode and the batch code sits comfortably. And then on the top, Chanel's logo. Let's look at the bottle, which looks pretty much exactly like the box. So on the front of the cap, it does say Chanel. On the top of the cap, it does have the Chanel logo as well. With the cap, it is a little bit of a step down because Chanel does have, in their Bleu de Chanel line, they do have magnetic cap. Not in this one. So if you don't have a magnetic cap, trust me, it's not a fake. And then it just says as well, Allure Homme Sport au Extreme. And then on the bottom, you're getting the concentration. It says made in France, which it is. On the back, at the bottom, that's where your batch code will be. My batch code is 8 302 made in France by Jacques Paul in 2012. So this has been out for over 10 years. I must say though, the name of this fragrance incredibly misleading. It's not just a sport fragrance. It is so much deeper than that. What does this fragrance smell like? Before I go over what I smell, I want to go over the listed notes, but first let's show you the atomizer. Chanel's atomizers, known to be good. So the listed notes on Fragrantica. The top notes are mandarin orange, mint, cypress, and sage. The mid notes, pepper. Base notes, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. The perfumery is amazingly done. When perfumery is amazingly done, it's kind of hard to detect individual notes. It just presents itself as a very clean, fresh smell. Off of the top, you are getting some of that citrus from that mandarin orange. Sitting underneath it is a sandalwood tonka bean combination, which gives it creamy, sweet, woodiness that sits underneath the fragrance. It honestly does not smell like a designer fragrance. If you're looking for a quality fragrance, this is it. Underneath everything is sitting a base of a clean musk and it's backed by a little bit of greens and spice. So there is depth here. It's not just a citrusy fragrance that you're getting out of most sport flanker fragrances. Now that minty greenness is just blended so incredibly nicely that it's honestly just a portive. It's a very addictive, attractive scent profile that honestly, and I'm not just saying this to hype it up, I've never had a fragrance get this many compliments in one day. This has quickly become one of my most complimented fragrances and for good reason. I've had people say it's delicious, delectable. I've been asked, what fragrance are you wearing? It just gets attention and it's not like a fragrance that you can tell when you spray it on. It's commanding of attention. It just smells so good. This is a fresh, clean fragrance with a sexiness that lays underneath and gives it a little bit of sweetness in depth from those creamy elements that sits underneath and adding together with that orange, I think a women will absolutely love when they smell this on you. It's not a try hardy fragrance by any means. It just makes you smell incredible. This is a little bit more extreme than Chanel Allure Homme Sport. It does have a little bit more depth to it. I think that it just goes a layer deeper and becomes something that's not just a sports fragrance, but a fragrance that you can wear pretty much all year round for any type of situation. You can wear this at the gym, although I think there are better options. The tonka and sandalwood combination, which gives it a little bit of a creamy sweetness, makes it so that you can pretty much wear this fragrance all year round. In the winter, you can wear this out on dates, you can wear this in business settings, casually throughout the day when you're going to run errands. Any situation you can possibly think of, this will be good for that. Just control your sprays to match whatever you're doing. One interesting thing about this fragrance is that it smells different out in the air than on skin. Out in the air, you're getting a little bit more of the orange, the mint, the creaminess, but when you put your nose up to your skin, that's when you're gonna get the pepper, the greens that sit underneath it, and a little bit of an herbally feel. Trust me, when this stuff gets into the air, you're gonna be probably addicted like I was. This has become one of my most worn fragrances in my entire collection in a very short amount of time. Over the last couple months, if I don't know what to wear, I just reach for this. I am saying all this positive stuff. There is a slight downside, which some people have mentioned notoriously, is that the performance is not that good. I get honestly okay and acceptable performance on my skin, and I really do not have skin that performs with any fragrance. Let's discuss how the performance is. During the first 
hour, this stuff is actually quite strong. I gotta say, it's a lot stronger than I expected it to be. Originally, when I first started wearing this fragrance, I thought it was a little bit of a downside in the performance category. I was originally only getting three to five hours of longevity. After a couple months, it started lasting longer on my skin. I was able to push it up to the four to six hour mark, usually lasting around six hours before disappearing off of my skin. So actually for the first half an hour to an hour, you're getting actually really good projection, projecting more than an arm's reach for me. I'd say that's about like two solid feet plus. And because of its light kind of airy clean nature, it's going to travel through the air quite nicely and give you a very, very big bubble around you. When you walk by someone, it's a head turner. But after that hour or so, it backs down to about a foot or maybe half a foot of projection. That's going to last three to five hours before it backs down to slightly above a skin scent and it's going to last maybe four to six hours. For other people, it's probably going to last you longer. For others, it may last you less. Do I wish the performance was a tad bit better? Yeah, but I do not mind respraying this fragrance at all. With a fresh and clean fragrance, you do not want it to be too loud. What is the point of being fresh and clean if someone can smell you halfway across the room? Leave that to the sweeter nightclub fragrances. With all that being said, this is one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection, and it also happens to be one of my most worn. For me, Chanel's Allure Homme Sport or Extreme gets a 9.5 out of 10. This is absolutely worth the money, and if you don't have this in your collection, you definitely need to try this one out. I'm sure you will love it too, and trust me when I say, others will as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the sound of this fragrance, check out this video right here. Oh my goodness.